Today we will talk about the 10 reasons you should want a Tesla Semi. According to Musk's revelations, the Semi scales up the technology and performance that Tesla has incorporated into its cars to operate inside a truck. Many of its requirements, which include safety features and economic possibilities that might prove revolutionary if the company can deliver on them, sound more like those of a sports car than a diesel truck. It blows my mind, said Musk during the unveiling. I think it will blow yours. There's a lot to unpack from the big reveal, so let's run down the 10 biggest takeaways. Please support the channel by liking this video and subscribing to this channel for future updates. Number 10. The Semi's acceleration and top speeds are more sports car than truck. Throughout the presentation, it was heavily emphasized how the Tesla Semi handled more like a high-performance automobile than a diesel truck. As an indication, the vehicle accelerates by itself from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5 seconds as opposed to 15 for a diesel truck. The vehicle accelerates to 60 miles per hour in 20 seconds, even when towing an object that weighs 80,000 pounds, the maximum weight that is permitted under law. Similar to this, a diesel vehicle could only accomplish 45 miles per hour when ascending a 5% gradient, whereas the semi can do it at a maximum speed of 65 miles per hour. What this means is if you're pulling a load up the Rockies, you're earning per mile 50% more than you are in a diesel truck, said Musk. That's a gigantic difference. Number 9. It has a range of 500 miles. The truck's range is 500 miles, as stated. That surpasses earlier estimates that put the semi's range at between 200 and 300 miles. But it's still less than half of a diesel truck's 1,000-mile range. That objection was sidestepped by Musk, who instead emphasized the fact that 80% of trucking routes are 250 miles or shorter. Which means the Tesla Semi could travel the entire distance of 80% of routes without needing to recharge. Number 8. It's ridiculously aerodynamic. The Semi's streamlined form is essential to its exceptional acceleration and speed capabilities. The drag coefficient of the truck is 0.36, which is actually lower than the Bugatti Chiron's 0.38 coefficient, one of the fastest sports cars in the world. In contrast, a diesel truck has a value of 0.65 to 0.7. While a regular diesel truck is more like a barn wall, this is a bullet, said Musk. Number 7. The driver sits in the center. The fact that the driver sits in the middle of the truck and all passenger seats are placed behind him or her may be the design feature of the semi that is most immediately noticeable. You're positioned like you're in a race car, said Musk. You have complete visibility of the road and all your surroundings. That placement is a big part of why the truck is easier to drive than its diesel counterparts, according to Musk. I can drive this thing and I have no idea how to drive a semi. Number 6. A network of Tesla megachargers will provide recharges about every 400 miles. The semis will make stops at solar-powered megacharger stations that the business hopes to deploy around every 400 miles. Similar to the supercharger network that serves the Tesla automobiles. The reason 400 miles is important is you have to take a break eventually, said Musk. If you drive for 5 or 6 hours, that's about as much as you want to be driving continuously. The megacharger will be able to fully recharge the truck by the time the required 30-minute break is over because truckers in the United States are required to take a break for 30 minutes every 6 hours. Number 5. The semi's safety features mean an end to a trucker's worst nightmare. Musk said every semi will come with enhanced autopilot as a standard feature. The truck will be able to brake automatically if the driver suffers a medical emergency is unable to continue working the controls. The truck is designed to come to a halt and then contact the authorities. The majority of the safety features are extensions of current Tesla designs, but one is specifically designed to prevent jackknifing, a trucker's worst fear. The truck will automatically stop jackknifing because it has independent motors on each wheel, said Musk. Number 4. The truck is guaranteed for a million miles. The independent motors that stop a vehicle from jackknifing also keep it operating smoothly for a lot longer. Musk said that the semi could continue to run more effectively than a diesel truck with just two of the four motors. Additionally, he noted that the brake pads don't need to be replaced and that there is no transmission to worry about because the kinetic energy that would typically wear them out is used to recharge the battery. Number 3. The glass can withstand a thermonuclear explosion, and there's a practical reason for that. 
Musk said that, it survives a nuclear explosion or you get a full refund, while describing his favorite aspect of the windows, their absurdly overpowering resistance. The windshields must be able to withstand any force for a very important purpose, so Tesla isn't just showing off. Truck windshields are huge and they crack about once a year, said Musk, pointing out trucks with broken windshields are illegal to drive. That's a lot of money drivers can then lose out on. So making the windshields essentially indestructible could make or break some driver's earnings. This detail matters a lot to someone who really understands trucking. Number 2. The Tesla Semi is designed to already be more cost-effective than diesel trucks in rail. Given Tesla's well-deserved reputation for being costly, Musk acknowledged that one of the main concerns was how much the Semi will cost. The anticipated cost of the Tesla Semi from day one, including leasing, insurance, and all other charges, is given. He noted how important economics are for the trucking industry and stated that this figure is lower than the $1.51 mile he provided for diesel trucks. If the trucks drive in convoys, where the truck in front blocks the wind and makes the trucks behind it more aerodynamic, the savings become much more significant. Musk claimed that Tesla's tracking system allows for more compact convoys, which means that even rail may not be able to match with the per-mile savings. It's not just economic suicide to use a diesel truck, it's economic suicide for rail, said Musk. This beats rail. That's really quite profound. Number 1. Expected price is $150,000 which is cheaper than a new diesel truck. New diesel trucks cost over $200,000 in most cases. And Tesla Semi is cheaper at only $150,000 to $180,000. Truckers and trucking companies can save a lot of money by buying Tesla Semi and have much better truck with all the high-tech features. This brings us to the end of our video. What do you think about the Elon Musk new Semi truck? Tell us in the comment section below. And if you have any questions or suggestions then feel free to mention them in the comment section and we will surely respond to your request. If you like this video, don't forget to press that like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching.